Okay, so this tutorial is going to show you how to install TFAR. Uh, for this, you're going to need to have a mod pack installed. Uh, I'm going to be running the Arcadius training pack because that's probably what you'll be using when you first launch into the game and get orientated. Uh, however, any of the other Arcadius packs will work. The important part is having Task Force Arrowhead Radio Beta right here. Uh, another important thing to note is TFAR should be closed until I tell you to open it. Um, leaving it open can have issues with the installation. All right, so now that we've selected our preset and you can select any preset that has TFAR in it, it doesn't matter and you don't have to reset it up when you change presets, you just have to do it once. Um, you're going to right click it, you're going to say open folder. And it's going to say Steam Workshop Cache, you know, don't change, don't delete, don't do anything. That's fine. Click I understand. And it's going to launch you into your Steam Common App Workshop folder. Uh, it's going to start with the TFAR folder highlighted, so you can go into that. Then you're looking for the folder called TeamSpeak. You're going to double click TeamSpeak. And then there should be a single thing that's a TeamSpeak add-on in there. You're then going to double click it. And yep, it's just going to install that. It's going to warn you that it, you're about to install a plugin, and TeamSpeak is going to just tell you that, hey, you're installing a plugin, be careful with that. But we trust it. Um, OK, add on is installed, and we would like to activate it. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to launch TeamSpeak. OK, TeamSpeak's been launched. Uh, this is its default thing, light menu, I know it's horrible. Anyway. Uh, we're going to go into tools, we're going to go into options, or we can just hit alt P. Uh, and then we're going to click add ons here. Now I have a bunch of well, I have a couple add ons, you will not have acre two. This is a different Arma thing, we're going to scroll until we see TFAR. We want to make sure that it says enabled. And then if it does, it means that we are good. And at that point, you are good. You can click OK, you can close out of TeamSpeak, or you can connect to the Arcadius core server. Uh, to do that, you're going to go into the Arcadius Core Discord. You're going to look in the channel called Info and Mods, and at the very top, it's going to have the TeamSpeak information. I'm going to show you my TeamSpeak bookmark. Um, and I'm going to blank out the important stuff. But yeah, this is my bookmark. So I named it Arcadius Core. My nickname on the server is Quiz, because that's my nickname. I put a phonetic nickname in case you're an idiot. And then... Um, here, server nickname or address, this is the box you're going to put the IP in. Um, it's blacked out, but go into the Discord and it'll be there. Then you can click OK and you can connect to the Arcadius Core connected. server. Um, then you can click on yourself right here in the front desk. You, by default, won't have these little symbols here and you probably won't be able to move. Uh, but when you load in, you'll be on the front desk. Click your name and say task force radio status. Connected to game? No. Playing? No. Plugin version should be the plugin version that you just installed. Uh, Add-on version will always say unknown, and you will not have this acre two window. There's one more step we need to do. Uh, you need to go into tools. You need to go into options. You need to go into capture. Now, I strongly, strongly recommend that you put push to talk on. Voice activation can be a little finicky. It can pick up your keyboard, it can pick up your dog, it can pick up your TV, and it's really annoying. I really like push to talk. I think you should definitely use it. And then you should bind that push to talk key to something you can press while you're walking forward, backward, left, right, sprinting, jumping, crouching, etc. If you have uh, mouse keys, I strongly recommend you use a mouse key um, because it is really useful. Other than that, you can just use voice activity detection if you really don't have a better option, but setting up push to talk is going to be really important. The push to talk button you set is going to be what you use for local comms in Arma. So if you're just speaking and someone is standing next to you in the game and you want them to hear them, that's the button you're going to push. Radio keys are set in Arma and we don't do that in TeamSpeak. And now we should be good, unless I think of something else. That is how to install TFAR and get TeamSpeak set up for your first Arma session.